Hey guys, good morning. Uh, this is Tuesday, April 14. If you have not already done the assignment from yesterday, please do it first before starting on today's assignment. Today we're going to talk about basic dialogue rules about how to use quotation marks uh, in our writing, how to punctuate quotation marks. Your assignment for this week has questions on Greek mythology that goes with yesterday's lesson, and then it's also got questions that are on uh, quotation marks. So I want you guys to please take notes during this lesson. So you should get your notebook out, pause this video right now if you don't have your notebook, and get your notebook so that you can take notes as we go through today's lesson. So this is basic dialogue rules are basically how to punctuate with quotation marks. All right, so if we are writing dialogue in a narrative or if we're quoting or whatever, or we're writing what some a friend of ours said, punctuation marks must separate the dialogue from the dialogue tag. Okay, all that is to say, when you are using quotation marks and you are introducing the quote, Bob said, Bob yelled, Bob asked, you have to follow that introduction, which is called the tag, with a comma. Bob said, comma, then you put the quote, what it was that Bob said. Bob yelled, comma, then you put the quote, whatever it was he yelled, okay? Same thing if you are citing from a text. According to the article called, Bob is a yeller, it said, comma, and then you put what the quote is. Or in the article, man, Bob is loud, comma, quotation marks, put the quote. Okay? So you always follow your tag, the thing that introduces your quote, with a comma. Now, if the dialogue comes first, You have three options. Inside quotation marks, if it comes first, followed by the tag, they end with a comma. So notice, quotation mark, go outside, comma, quotation mark, Bob said, period. Notice we don't put a period inside the quotation mark if we are following it with whoever it is said it. If we're following it with a tag, we put a comma. Unless it ends in a quotation, unless it ends in an exclamation point or a question mark, then you put the exclamation point or the question mark inside the quotation, but then you still follow with Bob yelled, period, or Bob asked, period. Um, your sentence is go outside, Bob yelled. Or did you go outside, Bob asked? That's your sentence. So the sentence is a statement. You're stating what Bob said. What what did Bob ask? You're not at you aren't asking the question. Bob asked the question. So you still end it with a period. Look again here too. Go outside. Did you go outside? Look at where the quotation marks are and look in the red at the punctuation. Your punctuation goes inside the quotation mark. Bob said, comma, quotation mark, go outside, period, end quotation mark. Or, quotation mark, go outside, comma, quotation mark, Bob said, period. Always capitalize the first letter of dialogue. This is the only time other than when you have a proper noun that it's okay to have a capital letter in the middle of your sentence. So notice, Bob said, comma, quotation mark, go outside. The go is capitalized. Likewise, we're starting the sentence, quotation mark, go outside, comma, 
quotation mark Bob said. Notice that we've got go and Bob are both capitalized. Now what if it wasn't Bob? Well, we're going to get to that. Um, let me talk about that a little bit. Um, so look here. Go outside, comma, said Bob. Notice it's not capitalized there. Go outside, exclamation point, yelled Bob. Did you go outside, asked Bob. All right, so we're not capitalizing unless it's a name there. But the first word of the quote is capitalized regardless. So if it said, Bob said, then go would be capitalized, even though it's in the middle of a sentence. Bob asked, did you go outside? It would, the did would be capitalized regardless. The first word of the quotation is always capitalized, but what follows the quotation is not always capitalized, unless it's a noun or other proper noun. Okay, so these are your rules. You can go back and look through this as many times as you need to um, in order to do your assignment for this week. Guys, I can't stress to you enough how important it is for you to do the assignment as many times as you have to do it to get a good grade. And this goes for last, the week before the break, it goes for that assignment too. That was a weight of two, it was your unit test, and some of you answered one question correctly and turned it in. And so that's really hurting your grade. If you are one of these people that made a bad grade on that assessment, please go back and redo it. Please go back and resubmit it. A lot of you made bad grades on that because you did not do the constructive response questions correctly, or you didn't answer them at all because you just don't think you need to answer constructive response. They count a lot more than the regular questions, so you do need to do them. So please check Infinite Campus, and if you made a bad grade on that, go back and redo it. And then starting this week, it is very important for you to go through and make sure that you have answered everything correctly. It's not going to tell you which ones you missed or which ones, it'll tell you which questions you got wrong, but it's not going to tell you what the right answer is. Go back and fix it. I don't care if you got 21 out of 25, 22 out of 25, 23 out of 25, which would all be a passing grade. Go back and get them, get 25 out of 25. You need to make 100 on every practice. Make 100. You can do it. Talk to you later. Bye.